On Saturday, it was a dual celebration for Turkey, the 99th anniversary of the founding of the Turkish Republic and the inauguration of a massive manufacturing plant that will be producing the country's first electric vehicles. Talk's first all-electric car rolled off the assembly line at its plant in Bursa. President Erdogan said the achievement was a step closer in making Turkey an economic powerhouse. The sprawling 1.2 million square meter facility is expected to churn out 175,000 vehicles a year once the plant reaches full capacity. Talk's first electric car will hit the roads in the first quarter of next year. As global energy prices soar and the push for carbon neutrality gains momentum, many car makers are looking to battery operated electric vehicles to replace cars powered by fossil fuels. But how can Turkey differentiate itself in a crowded market? And for more on TOG's first assembly plant and what it could mean for electric vehicles, joining me now from Berlin is Peter Mock. He is the Managing Director of Europe at the International Council on Clean Transportation. And from San Francisco, Izet Daradelli. He is an Associate Professor at California State University. A warm welcome to you both and thanks for joining me on Straight Talk. Izet, could you talk to us about the importance of the launch of Turkey's first electric vehicle? What has pushed Turkey to manufacture its own cars? Well, a bunch of different dynamics. So thanks a lot for having me. It's it's exciting time to talk about zero emission vehicles and then let alone a zero, zero emission vehicle that's coming from an emerging country. So I think the timing is the most important reason that, you know, the countries such as Turkey, emerging countries should be excited about producing their own electric cars. Because as we can see, there are a bunch of different things, dynamics going on, such as macro politics, the disruptions in the supply chain, as well as the advances in the technology, especially in the battery technology, the cost of batteries have decreased dramatically. Uh, when we looked at, at the emergence of this industry, the cost of a battery was around $8,000 per car. Now they are bringing down less than $1,000. So it has decreased dramatically. And then there are a lot of different technologies that are supporting the electric car as well. So I think I believe what is right about is the timing. So mm -hmm. if not, then when? I think that's, the, that's a better question to ask. So Peter, um, the company expects to complete technical qualification and certification to European standards uh, by the first quarter of 2023. Why would people be interested in using an electric car manufactured in Turkey? I mean, what would be Turkey's major uh, target markets and selling points? Well, I, I would hope that Europe would be a target market. Uh, Turkey has been a very strong um, producer of cars for Europe in the past and still is. Um, what you have to notice is that in Europe, we are moving clearly to electric vehicles. Yes. Right now, we have a market share of about 20% for new vehicles. So every fifth car is an electric car already now. And by 2035, at the very latest, we will be 100% electric vehicles. The European Union just decided on this last week. Mm -hmm. And many car manufacturers will even move quicker. So I would expect that by 2030, so in seven years, eight years time, we will have almost 100% electric cars, new cars in Europe. Mm -hmm. And so Turkey, I think, has a very good opportunity delivering those cars and delivering exactly those cars uh, in, the, in the mass segment, in the compact car segment, where the European manufacturers are traditionally not so strong at the moment. But Peter, do you believe that Turkey can catch up with this process? I believe so. I mean, Turkey is a bit late in the race, especially the Chinese manufacturers have a lot of advantage. The European manufacturers also have an advantage, but more in the premium segment, I would say, in the upper class vehicles. Uh, so Turkey is a bit late, but not too late, I think. Um, and especially if the country can deliver the first vehicles in 2023, I think there will be a lot of demand in Europe. Right now, if you want an electric car in Europe, you have to wait for many months because there's not enough cars on the market for all the consumers that want them. Mm. So, um, is it where does Turkey stand when it comes to other electric car makers like the uh, like uh, Tesla in the U.S. and other countries in like in China and Europe? Electric cars is a new technology on its own, and then the way I gauge this is I look at the venture capital funding that's going into better technologies for almost an industry that's going to grow into trillion dollars worth of size, 
uh, around four or four, four or five billion dollars of venture capital have went into the uh, electric, the the battery technologies, which is at the core of this industry. That's telling me that we are still at the emerging stage of these things. Yes, we are very optimistic about these new zero emissions vehicles taking over the traditional cars, but it's going to take some time. Mm -hmm. So in terms mm -hmm. of timing, I think we are not very late or the talk is not very late. I think it's a fast follower. I think that's what we can consider talk as a fast follower. And then I think if Tog and other emerging country uh, car manufacturers uh, can have the right strategy. They are going to catch up pretty, uh, pretty good and pretty effectively. So, Peter, we know that China, Germany, the U.S., Japan, and France, as well as South Korea, have all projected to increase um, the electric vehicle production over the next few years. Um, will Tog have a competitive advantage here, especially in its region? What I want to stress is that I think it is very important not to only export electric cars abroad. I think it is also very important to have a home market, a strong home market. We can see that in China, for example, where every fourth vehicle is already an electric car. So 25% of cars are electric there. And um, China, I think, is a very strong country in exporting those vehicles, also because they have succeeded in the home market. And Turkey, um, I have to say, at the moment has a very, very low electric vehicle market share in, in comparison to other countries worldwide. So I think it's around 0.5% of cars are electric in Turkey. And I strongly believe that Turkey has to move and make these electric cars also popular in Turkey, for example, by, by uh, providing incentives for consumers to buy these cars, putting CO2 standards in place for new cars, or changing their taxation system so that it becomes more attractive to buy electric cars. I think it is important to be strong in the home market, and that is the case not just in China, but also in Europe, where, for example, Volkswagen is doing all they can to sell also a lot of electric vehicles in Europe, in the home market, in addition to exporting them abroad. So, is that would you agree with Peter? Could this move make Turkey a major car manufacturer globally, let's say in the middle term? And what do you think are the challenges? Well, he started talking about China. And it's a great example. Yes, China entered to this race pretty, pretty early. And there were a lot of certain government incentives that went into this industry. But something was different about China as well. The government has uh, worked with a few other companies at the initial stage. So there was some early competition, I think, which ramped up the electric vehicle production and then which I, I think improved the industry overall. So the question is about whether TOG can be a regional player, major player. I'm pretty optimistic about it, but there are some challenges as Peter and you, and then as you have asked in your question. Some of those challenges are not technical challenges. I think with this opening of this manufacturing facility and a very strong, talented design and as well as engineering team, most of those challenges are not technical challenges uh, for talk, but the challenges would be more about related to marketing, positioning, pricing, maybe after sales services. So creating a brand related challenges, I think mm -hmm. that's that's what I see the challenge, the real challenge would be for the talk. So, uh, Peter, what do you think with which country could Turkey uh, cooperate with uh, to produce the best green energy and electrical car? Does it need to diversify? I think it's not so much about which country to work with, but um, as we just heard, I think it's important to collaborate with other companies. For example, uh, I think it is very important to also have uh, close connections or ideally even close production of battery technology um, so that you don't only assemble the, the vehicle in, in Turkey, but also have the battery production in Turkey. And yes, it's very important to not only produce an electric car that will be driven on electricity, but it's also important for example, to green to make sure that the production of the vehicle becomes as green as possible. For example, using steel that is um, produced with renewable energy as much as possible, um, and in general, also to within Turkey to make sure that the electricity produced is as green as possible. And that means mm -hmm. moving away from coal plants, moving towards solar solar panels and and wind energy, and making the car truly 
a green car and not just um, making it a kind of a, a logo around a, a normal car and making that electric now, but it has to change the, the whole industry and the whole way that we drive. Yes. Yeah, so is it as uh, Peter hinted, Turkey has made a deal with one of the world's uh, leading uh, firms for the production of lithium ion batteries. Uh, could this cooperation expand further and eventually would this lure global companies uh, to invest in Turkey's electric vehicles? So I think it's an excellent question. We can look at it, whether manufacturing this electric car is, are you producing one product? Are you serving one industry? Or are you creating an ecosystem? So I think the approach by the TOG in terms of that better production with partnering with that important company, that's I think that's going to bring lots of important know-how. And then this is how Tesla actually started. Uh, they have not started by producing their own batteries, but they have partnered with uh, Panasonic in the beginning. And then later they said, okay, let's produce our own batteries as well. And let alone what we can also think about it, there is also a further investment by Ford. There's going to be a giga big, really huge factor that's going to be opened in Ankara. So I'm seeing um, Turkey and other countries as hubs for better technology or better manufacturing because uh, most of the companies would be seeking cost advantages and countries such as Turkey would be optimal places yes. for better technologies in terms of location and in terms of supply chain as well. So I think we can benefit from that as well. All right, gentlemen, unfortunately, we'll have to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me on Straight Talk.